Ugh. Same day. Wait, what? That was like early in the morning. Oh, like like at two in the morning or something? Yeah. Okay. All right, glad you guys were able to sleep through all the mortars. Ah, that was a great meal. They're all growing boys and girls, so eat up. Hello, Fatma. That's such a bad name. <laughs> bamboo? What bamboo? Last time I checked, we're in the mountains. There's no bamboo here. Technically, we're in the highlands. Okay, the highlands, which is nothing but flat and rock. And some mountains every now and again. Do you like that triangle rock? I thought you said we weren't going to have any more quests. Ah! It's, oh, it's just a monster, and you can't do it just yet. A large unknown monster has been seen around the northern part of the highlands. It must be exterminated at all costs. But not really, though. Southwest... Because it's not a required quest. Okay, so it... the second monster for the field study is an option. Okay. Yeah. We make sure we get the 200 Zepeth chest. Right. You can't go to the north of, of the highlands just yet today, but it's important. Okay. You will be able to, and that's when you're going to be able to do that quest and get the 200 Zepeth chest. Gotcha. I think I picked it up, but I'll do. A, I'll make sure. I, I have the detection uh, Zepeth on or the quartz on, so I shouldn't know if I if I found it or not. Right. Grandfather Norton. Morning, everyone. Sorry. Some bitches me. got shelled last night. I don't know how you guys didn't hear it. You were in a cloth yurt and all. Our watch army has been attacked. What? Sounds like it all happened in the middle of the night. And that's not the last of it either. The Republican arm the Republican Army's base has been attacked too. This isn't gonna be pretty. Remember, the Empire and the Republic fucking despise each other. Oh, there's a third party, huh? Yeah. Oh, no. Third Arm Vision Military Airship, Cavalier and Glier. Glier? Glier? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay. Honestly. <clears throat> Republican Army 8th Area Division Aviation Regiment L the L the Barian. Oh, those are Republican Empire ships. Yeah. Okay. Glad they gave them actually different models instead of just same models but different colors. It makes sense that they would have I'm using models. binoculars! <laughs> this is <laughs> Wait, hold on a second, I can't see out of these! <laughs> I only need one binocular! I, it's just a telescope! I was about to say, and that's just called a telescope. <laughs> Lieutenant General, I know I look like Zets, but I'm not him! Oh my gosh, no! So they did die up there, huh? Uh, who knows? We delivered that dude cheese. I feel bad. Yeah, I hope he got to eat the cheese before he died. Yeah, it was a lot of cheese. Contact. He gave us wine to Contact give to the lady, Sender and he was real Gate. nice. Prepare the 3rd Armored Division for deployment. I want all the armored vehicles ready to move before I return. Ooh. Things getting interesting. Oh, oh my gosh, we are getting a literal play-by-play, -play, aren't we? Yeah. You're literally gonna go to be like, hold on, can you not do this yet? And... Like, alright, you have until noon to stop a war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me a second. Alright. Sure, you don't need help from us. I appreciate your willingness, but we'll be fine. 
we used to we're used to the procedures for moving through the settlements in case of an emergency. Same goes for you guys. I assume you'll need you'll be heading to Zendergate to learn more about the current situation with Lieutenant General Vander. Now as a citizen of North, but as a student of Thor's military guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, pretty much. That's that was the that was the plan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you thought I wasn't doing that, you're completely wrong. Wait, is Norton coming with us? Why is he... Why would he come with us? I guess all wars need their photographers. Oh, it is. Well, he's a newsman, and he happened to just just so happened to be on the scene when this big event happened. So of course he's right. going. Don't hate me for this. <laughs> you can put her in for an S-craft and then take her out. It's fine. No, I'm actually like using her in the party. No. <laughs> we haven't but used you, her this entire time. Listen. But you listen, upgraded listen. Emma's weapon. I did didn't I? It's fine. It feels kind of dirty to just not use a party member for the entirety of a chapter. You you put her in to cast the fucking okay. blessed arrow a couple times. I, under, I I get you're doing a haha -ha funny, but I'm actually kind of like trying to actually use her. That's fine. It's fine. I get it. She has one of the best support skills in the game. I mean that that is a definite plus, and we also have more than. Machius has the other best support skill in the game, which is enough, called burst drive or yeah, acceleration we, we burst have, or something we have like enough that. Enough money to also get her new weapon and then some. When does he learn that in this game? I might not be able to upgrade it, but it's at least I can at least have her better weapon. No, yeah, I don't even have enough. I don't even have closer enough, but it's fine. Also, yeah, Norton is there. He's like a guest party from guest member from Xenoblade. Yeah. Uh, since I need you a lot, he learns burst drive support. really late. It's but it's the best support skill skill in the game. He learns it at level fifty seven. Fair. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Basically, it has accelerate, which means when he uses it, everybody he hits with it immediately gets a turn. Oh wait, hold on. I haven't even fixed her her cover to go back to the basic one. Yeah. Machius' support skill is crazy. Okay. Giant made out of stone. Okay, so I guess I'm going to need to put Emma back in the party so I can spam it with arts, because I'm going to guess high defense. Yeah, but I mean... By the time you're able to go up to the north to go fight it anyway, you'll have the guest character. Oh, sweet. And then that'll replace Elisa. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't recommend using Elisa for the, 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 the other fights you're going to do before you get the guest character. Unless she has enough CP to spam Blessed Arrow. Okay. <clears throat> well, if need be, I'll switch her out with Emma. It's fine, we have a switch mechanic. And it's yeah. exactly like Final Fantasy X, even though I said it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's because you don't have the access to, like, 20 people. Yeah. For Final your... Fantasy X is three members with a party of... Titus, Waka, Lulu, Riku, Horan. There's seven characters. You get six in this, so yeah. yeah. So it's about the same, but it's a party of three instead of a party of four, which you think wouldn't be that much of a change, yet it, 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 it's, it, it is when it's one entire extra character. Right. Oh. All right, so... I kind of want to do a Shining Palm, 
but I feel like you I'm... do have quite a bit of CP. It's fair. Yeah. But, um, <coughs> Sorry about that. I have. There's like some. There, it, it's it's gone now. Okay. There was a little bit of phlegm in my throat that just wasn't coming out, you know. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. I've had I've had that many many a times. Okay. Do, 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 do. Does anything happen from here to Zendergate? Uh, no, I don't think so. Cool, cutting away to Zendergate. <laughs> Those are armored cars from the Imperial Army. Damn, this isn't looking good. You can't curse, Reen! Jeez, you're a child. YouTube Sama's gonna fucking destroy us after this, dude. Mm -hmm. Looks like the Imperial Army's third armor division. And it appears they're preparing for deployment. Thanks, everyone. Let me go see if I can get permission to start taking photographs. This man's accent becomes a different shade of Southern every time I say it. I speak with him. Yeah. I mean, when you get down to it, you, it, Southern isn't a very difficult accent to keep up. Especially, At least not for me. Especially because, when you live in the, the Southern. I've lived around Southern people my entire life. So, very easy accent for but me to never reproduce. Never mind that now. You came at the perfect time. A freight train bound for Roar, de Roar departs 30 minutes from now. I want you all to board that train. Finish up your field study as quickly as you can and return to the Academy. No. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't speak up, but I have a feeling things are about to get really hype. But, but sir... Well, things ultimately depend on the actions of the Republican Army, the bottom line is that we may be mere hours away from armed conflict with the Calvin Republic. I've already informed everyone in the settlement. Did they not relay the message to you? Be that as in May. We can't just turn tail and pretend that none, none of this is happening. Is Sarah about to pop up and be like, You're right, guys. You're completely correct. All right, now time no, to go. No, Sarah just kind of leaves you be on this one. That's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. I love her, but she has come in to kind of save our ass on the past two, uh, past two field studies. <laughs> Gaius, that's the central question here. It's still under investigation. I have... I, you may have assured that the Imperial Army did not attack, but did not make the first move, nor have we retaliated. However, our army's watchtower was destroyed, and several gods lost their lives. As the officer in charge of Zendergate, I have a duty to act. So there really were fatalities. Let's presume for the sake of argument that the damage sustained by the Republican Army's base was in fact deliberate sabotage by their own forces. How bad was the damage? Several of the facilities suffered major structural damages. Their losses appear to be at minimum equal to ours. Honestly, I'd estimate them to be far greater. But if they suffered even more damage than we did, that doesn't make any sense. I'm afraid we've lost since past the point where, where leisurely discussing our possibilities was an option. I will do as I can to avoid full-scale war, but we prepared for the possibility of armed conflict. Hmm. So someone's starting a war to end wars. Is that your opinion, Lieutenant General? Will you at least allow me the chance to investigate what happened on my own? Gaius, investigate on your own? As I'm sure you're aware, I know the Highlands like the back of my hand. And when someone attempts to threaten the peace of my homeland, I won't rest until I've unearthed the truth behind what's happening. You're serious? We'll do everything we can to help you. I think this falls within the scope of our field study, too. No, wait, this is the people of Nord's problem, but it's not, though. It's, it's not, though. It's all of our problem because we're a team. Yeah. A team! Most important thing that we can all come back safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. So if we don't die, we're good. Oh wait, no, the, the word he's using is all of us coming back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. 10.05, we got two hours and 30 minutes.
If we get another time pop up, I'm going like I genuinely. The more the time pop up happens, the more of like a weight sinks in my stomach. Right. Thank you. Really, I appreciate it more than you know. It's no big deal, honestly. I agree with Elisa. We're classmates after all, and more than that, we're friends. Well, this is clearly of great importance to you. I know you want to protect your people, but that's not the only reason you're doing this, is it? You got me. It ties back into why I accepted the we're gonna, we're gonna get some more. We're gonna get some backstory. Good. Too. Yeah. I'm sure each of you feels the same about your own homes, but I love this land with all my heart. The wind racing across the highlands, the vast mountain peaks, the clear blue of the sky, the breathtaking beauty of the rising sun, the melancholy of the sunset, the twinkling of the stars in the twilight. Can you look up if Gaius' voice actor does audiobooks? Because please, <laughs> for the love of God, this man needs to read some. I love everything about this land of Nord. It's part of who I am. Wow. I guess it hadn't sunk in how much Nord means to you. It's so weird having something that's not Skyrim be refer referred to as Nord. And especially when Nordic means, like, pasty white dudes in Scandinavian right. armor and not, like, Native right. American wind people. I'm certainly attached to Ruer, but I can't think of anyone else who would state their love for their homeland so poetically. If you love it so much, why did you leave it behind? If you truly love Nord, if Nord is such a part of you, what is it that drove you to enroll in a military academy in a foreign land so far away? <laughs> I'm not surprised you'd find it strange. To be honest, I'm still not totally sure what compelled me to do it. Back when I was a kid, Republican army built a base in the eastern plains. Oh, excuse me, it's late. And the Imperial army yeah. responded in the storm of their watchtower. It's made me more uneasy with every passing year. Years oh, ago, yeah. a traveling Baby guy is, from the he's Sithian so church cute. taught me all about the history of the continent. <laughs> he even had the ponytail. One thing that stood out to me was just how many lives have been lost during the conflicts between the major powers. Oh, so he wants to learn to be a military so he can stop the military. Genius. Another major theme was just how profound of an impact the Orbal Revolution had on people's lives. Even the concepts of time and distance have changed so much. In effect, the Orbal Revolution shrunk the world. That's an interesting way to put it. It made me realize yeah. a sad truth. One that kind of scares me even now. He doesn't want Nord to be replaced with machinery. That there was no guarantee my homeland could stay at peace forever. And that, yeah, that, yeah, that fair. one day, it might be drawn into outsiders' conflicts and be occupied and redistricted into oblivion. You know, that's a, that is fair. That is... Yep. Gaius, I agree with you. I can't believe you were thinking about such weighty things even as a kid. Nah, I ain't back. It's not hard for me to grasp, but I'm not gonna go into my own personal trauma. So then... Yeah. I don't have cool panels I can put up on screen of me as a Bobby. You joined me neither. in order to learn more about the outside world that posed a threat to your homeland? Yeah, something along those lines. When I realized how afraid I was, I knew I couldn't close my eyes. I wanted to do something, anything, to protect this land. As luck would have it, I met the Lieutenant General. Mm. He's the one who told me about Thor's military academy. One thing led to another, he offered me a recommendation. And before I knew it, I took him up on his offer. So there I was, green as grass. Heading off to study abroad despite having no clue what life in the Empire was like. I've never even ridden a train thinking before. Thinking back on how it all came together. Yep. How you said train is probably were. what I was thinking back then. Honestly, I have yet to hear a student offer a more galvanizing reason than yours for enrolling at the Academy. What does galvanizing mean? Uh, let me look it up. <laughs> okay, no, don't. If you have to look it up, <laughs> I don't have worry to agree. About it. I'm already doing it. I don't know too many people who love their home so much that they leave it behind to find a way to protect it. It's not a sentiment I can imagine many Erebonians feeling, that's for sure. But I think I finally understand. Well, when the Nord Highlands is so small compared to the entire rest of the, uh, of the Empire, you know? Elisa? Uh, to galvanize to the shock or excite someone into taking action. 
I just realized that I said Erebonia was going to war with the Empire a while ago. I meant the Quartzen Province. But having bad. heard Gaius pour his heart out to us, there's mm. no way we can just walk away from this. Not after the people of Nord gave us such a warm welcome and treated us like family. Man, it's almost like Gaius being a cool guy is because everyone else is a cool guy. Indeed. I couldn't yeah. have asked for more. Agreed. We'll get to the bottom of what's going on here and stop Ward from breaking out. All right, well, that's a little uh, that's a little much, but I, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Nord may not be our home, but it's still an important neighbor. I'll do what I can to aid you. Thanks. The Podies told me to love my neighbor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I've bonded with this one to such extent. His name is Sprinkle Cake. No, I'm fairly sure its name is John. Sprinkle Cake, <laughs> lead me forward. Concerned Winnie. <laughs> I really hope that Sprinkle Cake isn't actually the name of a pony. Or like is like if it is one and I just like predicted it, people are gonna be like, wow, Parker's a brony. I would have never guessed. And it's like, oh my god, I just can't I just, Sprinkle Cake was the only kind of like kind of pony name that I could think of? Granted, there's so many, like, fan-made pony names. That, there's, right. Like, apparently, like, all the background ponies don't actually have names. They just... They, they, people just gave them to them, and then the showrunners were like, yeah, sure, that's their name, I guess. I don't care. Yeah, I don't fucking give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to have the... Sparklecock? Yeah, that's one of them. <laughs> give, give it over there. <laughs> Oh, you're killing me here. <laughs> Sparkle. <laughs> you're the worst. Thank you. <laughs> oh man. In case you couldn't tell, I've I've become a little bit quieter because people are asleep and I don't want to. That's that's entirely fair. I've gotten complaints for the past two recordings, so. Mm. <sighs> All right, now talk to everyone here everyone? and investigate things. Oh, boy. But at first, I have to look at this rock. I said investigate things, too, so hey, look at that. Man, that's a rock. That, no, it's uh, not. Lisa, that's... You should know this. <laughs> nope, that does look like a rock. Oh, wait, no, that's the that's the mortar shell. <gasps> it's like Tony Stark in the first Iron Man movie where he gets gunned down using his own weapons. <laughs> Next, Gaius will be will will get an armored suit and become the Iron uh, Orbal Man. Uh, you, you're, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't want to make a. I don't know. I didn't know. What, well, I was gonna say Iron Patriot, but that already exists. Yeah, it does. Norman Osborn was the Iron Patriot in the Spider-Man animated TV show aired in, from in the 2010s. <laughs> the Iron uh, uh, Wind. Yeah. <laughs> Helicopter Man. <laughs> 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 Carry attack. But we're in the plane. I need some kind of clue even to know where to start looking. Okay. Oh, what's this gooey do? Oh, gonna solve that mystery. You just got murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine simple plan playing to your mortar attack. <laughs> Just what if what if the opening to this game was done by simple plan and not by the wonderful group of people who actually did the song? I'm that's that's by the way he survived. The uh, guy he was talking to did not. You should have died instead. <laughs> by the way, if you ever meet someone who's grieving, never tell them that. 
<laughs> Please because don't. They already probably believe that, and if someone tells them that, then they will probably also die. Probably by their own hands, but talking about self harm is not exactly something I want to talk about right now. Yeah, let's let's not do that at the moment. Mm. Nothing but taste here on here on Big Parker's channel. Yeah, let's let's be as tasteful as possible. When we're calling people assholes. Exactly. Because oh, most of the time Look we're calling ourselves assholes. <laughs> I get it. We don't know where the mortars are coming from. Well, my name's Zats too, and it seems like the Imperials are just kind of getting ready to fight. I don't know why my parents put a two in my name. Uh... I am a completely different person from Zats over there, though. By the way, yeah. I ordered some cheese yesterday. Did you bring it? Oh, you gave it to you gave it to Zats. Huh. Oh, of course you did. Well, I was gonna all give the time. you. I was gonna give you this nice bottle of wine. Oh, Sats oh, he did that. Also gave. You, oh, um. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> gonna have to go have a talk with Zats later. Not right now. He's, he's grieving. Did you know that but... his hair is actually green? He dyed his hair blue to look like me. Fucking that's asshole. that's actually a, a lie. Uh, but I wish it was true. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if your hair was just naturally a color, like it is in anime. Oh gosh, oh no, oh, I wasn't paying AM. attention. Thanks. How did no one else come to that conclusion already? I mean, I don't know. Tensions between the Empire and Republic are always high. Uh, I know a, g a g there's a really great senator out there. Cody always said she got to start a war to end wars. He I then, don't think you have to do that. He He's then just... died like 20 minutes later. It was pretty sick, th sick though. <laughs> where was he? Pakistan? Yeah, that's where it was. Now that you mentioned it, we found something else odd about the attack of the launch chart, didn't we? Do you remember? The weapon that was used? Yes. Because it was Reinford. An old model. I find it pretty unlikely that the Republic Army is packing Erebonian made weapons. Why? No, the Republican or Caval. Caval. Caval? Calvert. Calvert. I was just completely missing. A letter. The Vern Company. And the fact that the mortars are here is old. The Imperial Army hasn't used this model for years. I've heard that military surplus sometimes makes it back to the black market. Or just military surplus. Well, I guess military surplus doesn't sell mortars. Mm -hmm. But if you need some army fatigues, go for it, I guess. I so, uh, MREs, meal ready, it's meal, meals ready to eat. Yeah, I think that's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, we may not have to start our search blind. If Elisa and Gaius will lead, lend me a hand, I might be able to help. Huh? What do you have in mind? I, if I can factor the- Just some advanced calculus. You do remember I scored top on the... Okay, well, whatever. Alright, so. Oh my gosh, she is actually doing advanced calculus. Mm. Oh jeez, are we about to watch her go galaxy brain on us? All right, I think I've calculated a rough location. I believe the mortar was fired from a location to the south of here. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I 
Haha, I do... I do math in my free time. I'm one of those people. Just a little applied physics, you yeah. know. The basic stuff. I tried taking physics, I really did, and I just completely bombed it. I took stats instead of physics. I should have as well. Well, I need a science. Really fun. Physics is, isn't a math, it's a science. Physics it's just, physics just applies a lot of math, yeah. yeah. But I'm bad at math, I realized real quickly. I don't think I took a science senior year. Yeah, I didn't. I did psychology junior year, and that was the only science I guess I did. Also, to be fair, I lied about taking calculus because I wanted to be in the physics class. That was a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry if the, if that teacher of that class ever somehow ends up watching this. Alright, where the hell am I going? Back to Zendergate? No, you're heading to go find the area that, that they were talking about. What was Hint, it's already on the map. Wait, what? Oh, it's all the way over there. That is a little corner, huh? Yep. Uh, yeah. Stats was really fun, by the way. Wait, what? Ugh. I just barely reached outside the area. That's good to know that you had a better time in a math class than I did in my science class. Well, I, I enjoyed it. Like, the people there were really cool, but man, I just was so bad at physics. I did have that big brain moment you have sometime in math class where I missed like a, a couple days and I came back and they were doing something I didn't learn, but I applied what we learned from the last lesson and figured it out on my own mm. when he told us to do the problem and he didn't explain it to me beforehand. I was like, this is the answer. And he's like, how'd you get that? You weren't here the past couple days. And I said how I got it. And he's like, you know what? That's not wrong. Because it wasn't the exact way you were supposed to do it, like how it was taught, but you could use the last lesson we did, apply it here and get the same answer. Mm, but there's probably like a way they want you to do it. And, and right, and then I learned that way, but. Now what you was, probably don't remember either of those ways to do it, but hey. I don't, I don't remember at all. I don't even remember what the problem was, but the, the funny part was that, that the day I did that was the day the people from the college came to like watch the class to see how the teacher was doing. So I made him look really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair. She's doing the witch thing. Yeah. She even says the thing she does when she actually fires her bow. That's a little attention to detail, people. <laughs> there! There! Turn to flames! I did. Turn I have, to flames! I haven't forgotten. <laughs> I, think I, forgot. I will never forget. All right, cool. <laughs> never leave evidence at the scene of the crime, you fools. Except leave all the evidence so that we can find it, because look at this shit. Uh, literally the smoking gun we were looking for, because here are a bunch of smoking guns. Three of them. Yeah. It's surprising that all three of these guns were able to cause that much damage. Well, they were mortars, yeah. and they probably fired multiple rounds. Okay, but also three mortars can't fire five shells in rapid succession. Hmm. There were probably two points they fired from. On the same position? I'm they didn't get hit five times here, I don't remember. Yes, they did. There were literally five shells on screen. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's reasonable to say that the Republic was hit with a different group of mortars, but, you know, the Watchtower. This is when you go back... Well, you're about to, and then something's gonna happen, and then you go back. Mm. 